How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Videos. Today I want to show you how to navigate the Apple Watch. This is just a quick little beginner video. If this is your first smartwatch, uh, you're probably excited, but you're probably also like, how the heck do I use this thing? So just wanted to show you uh, some basic uh, tips on how to navigate it. So right now, as you notice, the screen did go off. So the way you normally turn the screen on is just simply flicking your wrist and it just pops on. Normally it would be on your wrist, not in your hand. But uh, you flick the wrist and it basically knows that gesture and that turns it on. But if you're holding it and it keeps going off, you can just tap this button right here and that will turn it back on. So two buttons on the side here. That's a button. That's a button. This is also a dial. So this actually uh, serves as two functions. So um, let's start with just navigating. So on this screen, um, you can swipe down to see notifications. So once you have it synced up with your phone, you know, if, if someone sends you a text message, an email, or a notification from an app will show up here and we just swipe back up to make that go away. Now I can um, swipe up from the bottom here and this brings up another set of uh, options. So this is uh, airplane mode, uh, do not disturb, vibrate, and then I can swipe through. So here's my music control, uh, heart rate sensor, uh, your battery percentage, how high is the battery. Um, this is like your fitness area, calendar events, and then these are just other apps that you may have on the phone um, that uh, do certain things. So now I don't have to scroll all the way back to get back to the main screen. I can simply just swipe down, or excuse me, um, not swipe. You could hit the the little button right here, and that would take you back to the home screen. So that was just a swipe up from the bottom, and that's how you get to those different options okay and then I can tap there and I'm back to my main clock now uh, at the bottom here um, just by hitting this button it will bring up your Apple Pay so that's pretty cool so uh, if you're at the retailer and you have your Apple Pay already set up and you're ready to pay with it just tap that one time and it will take you right to your Apple Pay so that's that um, Actually, excuse me, my apologies, uh, two taps, tap it twice, and this will take you to your Apple cards, um, which is all linked up with your Apple Pay, so two taps, one, two, oh, do it quick, one, two, there we go, obviously the phone isn't synced up right now, so it's not showing, um, so there's that, um, so we have our swipe down notifications, our swipe up for our general options, um, and then we have our dial over here and uh, if we tap that this is how we get to the apps that are on the phone so uh, from uh, text messaging to uh, ESPN to my photos that I have synced up uh, all that is in this section right here so really cool little look navigating here um, we can also turn the dial here to make you know smaller or bigger or if you just scroll all the way in, it takes you right to the settings. So like right now, I'm in the settings section. If I hit the button once, it'll take me back to apps. So let's say if I were to go over to Amazon and slide up. So there's a couple of different ways you can work this. And you've got to figure out which way works best for you. But for example, whatever you put in the center. So if I put the calendar in the center and I then scroll up, it's going to take me to the calendar. You see that? But now you don't have to do the scroll thing. Uh, what you can also do is just tap it once it's in the center and you'll be there. And obviously to get out of the app, you're going to hit this button once. And then if you want to go back to the main clock, you're going to press it one time. And it will go to clock and then tap it again and then it will take you right in there. So um, it does take a little bit of getting used to, uh, but you're going to use this button right here a lot for navigating. So one time to bring up apps. And I'm going to move the app I want in the center. So let's say text messages. And now I can just uh, scroll to go into it. Hit this button to go out. Or I remember I can just tap. Oh, you don't want to tap actually. That will bring up, uh, it always takes it back to the clock. So once I'm here, I can just tap right on text messages. So you kind of figure out which way works best for you. Uh, Whatever is most comfortable. You've got two options there though. Um, and again, one of the cool things, let's say we go to the settings here and tap on that. So we've got this little uh, button, but it's also a dial, so I can use this just to scroll quickly through what the options are. So let's say I go to 
I don't know, general. And now I can scroll through there and control some different options. So, um, you know, it, it's going to take some getting used to, but the main thing is knowing how to get everywhere. Uh, so, uh, but that's the app section in a nutshell. Put the app you want in the center, and then we can just scroll up, take you right there, hit the button to go back, and then uh, if you press it again, it goes to the clock, and then one more click, and then you're on the main clock. So, there that is. So, hope you guys found this helpful. Again, just super simple. This video was all about just how to navigate it, how to find everything, and um, that's how to do it. The one last thing I'll show you is if you want to turn it off, you're just going to hold down this button on the side and then you slide uh, all the way over for power off and that's how you turn it off and if you want to turn it back on you're going to hold down the same button again and that will turn it back on so um, all in effort to help you just uh, learn how to navigate it and how it works it's a really sleek looking product um, I, this was one of my favorite ones from the commercial that's why I got this one so um, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video and enjoy your Apple Watch. Make sure you like, favorite, and share the video if you found it helpful. Subscribe to HG Tech Videos and have a good one.